there once was a little boy. He was born in a small village in South Wales. And just across from the house that he was born in, there was a nice field. By the time he was three years old, he would admire the field, the grasses, the huge trees. And there was a stream running through this meadow, which he would look at and admire and see all these wonderful things around him. He would admire the flowers. He would admire the birds in the trees, the different kinds of birds. He was just fascinated by all of the creation around him. Indeed, everything that he could see, he was fascinated by. He would have the little ladybug crawling on his hand, and he would look down and just examine it and see how it was made, and he was just fascinated by it. Then he would have the caterpillar walking across his hand, the back of his hand and his arm, and he would watch this caterpillar, and it would kind of tickle with all these legs working across as he walked, as this caterpillar walked across his arm. He was just fascinated by these things. He was fascinated by the garden of the house that he was born in and all of the different vegetables that were being grown. He, was, he, he just loved to dig out a carrot and then wash it, and it was so sweet and lovely. The same with the peas. He would get the pea pods and open them up and just be amazed about all these peas that were in there and then how sweet they were. Everything around him he thought was wonderful, marvelous. He was just big eyes, as they say, as he looked at the sky, the clouds, all of the birds flying from one tree to another. Yes, he would look at the milkman when he came to deliver milk, which then was by horse and buggy. And so he would admire the horse. Wonderful things all around him that he would look at and admire and wonder about. When he was five years old, his parents moved to Yorkshire, England, where there was much more work, much more factories up there, much opportunity to work. He was five when his parents moved up there. He attended a preschool and enjoyed, indeed, all of the other children there as well. When he was seven, his dad decided to take him to the Church of England school. He didn't know till he was an adult that his dad was raised Church of England. So he can remember the morning that he was walking with his dad for the first day at the age of seven to the Church of England school system. He was in the class. The lady teacher handed all of the children a Bible. He didn't know what it was. It was a book. It said Holy Bible on the front of it. And then the teacher said, turn to page one. And so he did. And the teacher began to read, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And his mind just switched on. And he said to himself in his mind, I have the answer. I know where how all these things came about, all this creation around me. I know there is a God up in there in the heavens somewhere. There is a God who made these things. And from that day forth, he believed in God. And it was wonderful then as the first weeks and months reading through the book of Genesis. But from that day forward, he believed God existed and there was a being that created all of these things that are around us. I know this story is true, friends. 
because that little boy was me.